What is up YouTube? OMG. If I had to uh, explain what my day has been like, you guys probably wouldn't even believe it. But it has been a non-stop grind from the moment I've woken up today and uh, it's just been crazy. Those shirts came out yesterday and I have been packaging and shipping packages all day, which I'm not complaining. It is a good thing. I am very thrilled with how well these shirts have done. It's crazy guys. I just, uh, you know, I, I needed to put a video out today and it's already 4.30 p.m. and I haven't filmed anything. And I felt like, you know what, let's just, uh, I'm gonna say thank you to some of the people that ordered and I'm vlog a little bit of my day. So anyways, let me start off with saying thank you to all you guys that chose to support me and buy these shirts. That is, uh, it is awesome. It is, it is awesome. I'm shipping them all out today. So I wanna say we had like 25 orders in total, which is crazy. Some people didn't just buy the shirts, some people bought hats, some people bought other shirts. So <laughs> really cool guys. I'm in, a, I'm in a really good mood, by the way. It's one of those things like I've been working from the moment I woke up, but really like it's so just fulfilling to be knowing that you're doing your own thing. And it's for you guys to grab something as simple as a shirt that says Team Dry Scoop with a seal of approval and a scoop on it. And like, you know, you guys pay for that and uh, support me. Like, it's just, uh, it's just crazy. Anyways, anyways, enough rambling, enough rambling. So give you guys some thanks real quick. Thank you, Raymond Gonzalez. Thank you, Savannah Brunkart. Thank you, Christy Green. Thank you, Michael Irizarry. Irizarry. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce that, but thanks, buddy. We got Justin Walker, thank you. We got Buddy Pugh, thank you. And we got Michael Clinkingbeard. That is the coolest last name I've ever heard. <laughs> now, Danielle Moo, thank you so much, by the way, your support on everything, all my social media, on every shirt I've came out with, everything has been incredible. You even go and show support to my dudes, which, 100, right? Thank you, Danielle, thank you. We got Taylor Royce, thanks, buddy. Or maybe that's a girl, not sure. Thank you, Taylor. Hopefully, I don't get the uh, gender wrong. We got Moya Fragoso. I like it. Thank you. We got all the way in Australia, Brett Skorowski. Skorowski. I am murdering that last name, I bet. But thank you, man. Thank you. We got Christopher Lapolis. Lapolis. It's like licorice, but with a P. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. And then we have Josh Havens, new client and apparel owner. He's going to be just balling, man. Hopefully you got a size smaller or that or, or bigger, depending on what your goal is. <laughs> okay. And then shout out Claire Campbell. Thank you so much for all your support as well. Thank you. We got Daniel Corrigan from Ohio. Thank you, man. And then we have Justin Summerlot, who was my first order, the first person to order a shirt. Thank you so much. And then we also have from Ohio again, Tyler Class. He got the hats, the shirts, he got the whole nine yards. So shout out to you as well, repping that OH. So, and then I can't forget the local people that ordered too. So I gotta go actually drop these off, but we have shout out Ollie McCauley, Drew Taylor, Grant Furness, Matt Pickett, Ashley Shoemaker, Justin Laner. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that is, uh, that is it with the thank yous on these packages, guys. But uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. Seriously, you guys, um, it's because of you that I can live my dream and support support myself without anybody else's help. So actually, that's the wrong thing to say. I support myself with you guys' help. So I guess that's the, uh, that's the correct terminology. So thank you. Thank you guys very much. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. And I can't wait for you guys to get these shirts. I'm telling you. They're good shirts, the sleeves hug. Look at that, Urgh. look at that, look at that. My biceps got bigger Urgh. just from <laughs> buying the shirt. Anyways, guys, anyways, let me show you real quick something cool. So I don't want to show you any of the labels because I don't want to, you know, no privacy, but check it out. Look at all these orders, boom. All of these have to go. And then we also have a stack of shirts here. I got to go drop off at Subzilla for people to pick up. So, yep. And then if you want to know what my tripod was just sitting on, this is the fancy RJF setup right here, guys. Who needs a tripod when you have protein containers, <laughs> right? Oh, that's funny. Check it out, guys. We had to put all those packages in a trash bag to even carry them outside. So on our way to the post office right now, that's the thing, everybody that ordered, I actually got uh, every single order done today within one business day, some even same day. Crazy, right? Uh, that's the thing, especially when you start, oh, it's windy out here. Especially when you start like a business or anything like that, um, you gotta be able to hustle. You gotta be willing to work. A lot of people, I think, think that a business is just saying that you have one and then getting around to stuff when you, uh, you know, feel like it. 
but that's not the case. Rain, shine, sleet, hail, snow, you best believe I'm working on my goals and getting my stuff done. So, uh, here we go. Lots of shirts in here, guys. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get in the car and we are off to the post office. Ooh, in the car. Look who's riding shotgun. There we go. I think this is Ty, uh, hold on, hold on. I don't wanna, don't wanna, what's that? There we go, Tyler class package riding shotgun and all the local shirts riding shotgun. So. Put my seatbelt on and I'm on my way to the post office, then to Subzilla, and that should uh, round out this day. And then I gotta edit this video, so uh, non-stop guys, non-stop. But the grind pays off no matter what. When you put that much energy into anything, right, you have no choice but to get a reaction out of it. So if you put enough positive force and positive intentions into one thing, you're gonna get that reciprocated back to you. So just be careful with the energy you put out into the world. You put good energy out, you're gonna get good energy back. You put bad negative energy out, you're gonna get that same thing back. So. I'm telling you guys, the minute I changed my mindset and started working more towards putting good vibes out there and staying positive is when the rest of my life transformed. So anyways, rambling Rem here. <laughs> I, I, I'm a go. I'm a go. How you gonna be in when we extra large? Four car garage. Two bad bras. I don't fess or flaws. I'm a rock star. All right, guys. Just dropped off all the packages at the post office. So we are good to go. Every single order shipped package is on the way so if you're watching this video tonight your package is in route so everybody should get them two to three business days and then on mr australia you are probably seven to 21 <laughs> business days but man it is not cheap shipping stuff around the world around the globe so anyways guys thank you once again for all your support on my way to Subzilla now. All right, guys, I'm at Subzilla right now, and you gotta check out what Michelle brought in. All right, look at these. Look at these. So these are protein muffins. Is that what these are? Protein muffins. And what's the ingredients? What's in these things? Myo feed. Myo feed. Protein. Um, applesauce. Applesauce. Coconut flour. Coconut flour. Baking. baking soda. And something else. Oh, egg whites. Egg whites. There we go. And what are the macros you said? Two fat. So for 12 of them, it's two fat. 13.5 carb. 13.5 carb. 30 protein. 30 protein. And four of that is fiber. And four grams of fiber. I'll be, how about this? Let's make a deal. You're gonna give me that recipe and I'm gonna make it on my channel. How about that? Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't wanna try one simply because I know it'll kind of set my diet off, but how do you rate them? <laughs> Double. Double seal. Nice, nice. So yeah, shout out to Michelle for that recipe. Comment below if you want me to make that on the channel. Apparently, you guys heard the macros are supposed to be crazy. So if that's the case, those could be a game changer. So I will, uh, If you comment below. If you guys want to see it, I will make the recipe. But anyways, guys, anyways, I'm here at Subzilla now. And other cool news, by the way, is I officially have some of my apparel stocked in Subzilla. So look at this. Boom. We got some hats in here. And then also, down yonder. <gasps> We got some tank tops. Now, I just did a reorder of a lot of shirts because I sold through a lot of them. So we're eventually gonna have RJF shirts in here with the Subzilla shirts as well. So making big, big things happen, huh? Always. Always, always. <sighs> so yeah, guys, got all this stuff dropped off and uh, now it is like, what time is it? About 5.50, probably gonna hang out and talk for a little bit longer, then I'm gonna go home wrap this video up, edit it so I can get it out to you guys. So, you know, this might not be the most entertaining vlog in the world, but I did want to come in here and, you know, say thanks and stuff. And I'll have, I'll have a little bit to say before I leave. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, just got back to my house a little bit ago and it is like seven o'clock at night. I wanted to say once again, thank you to everybody that supported me, hopped on this t-shirt launch. It has been way more successful than I ever would have even in my wildest dreams anticipated. So thank you to everybody that did that. And just know that even if you don't buy a shirt, even if you don't ever buy anything from me, just watching the videos, hitting that like button, you are supporting me in that way. And I appreciate each and every one of you. You know, when, when you start something like this, right? When I first wanted to start making YouTube videos, you know, you have this dream and you have this vision of what you think it's gonna be and what you want it to be. And it just seems like so much, you, you just wanna get to that finish line. You're like, you know, Oh man, I want all the subscribers. I want people that actually like my stuff. I want to have more than a thousand views. I want to have over 10,000 subscribers. And it's like, once you finally are there, it's, I, I don't feel any different. You know, I, I thought that when I reached this point to where like I knew I was growing and I knew that I was, you know, being pretty successful at it, I would reach this point where I would be really, really proud of myself and I would be really just enamored by the entire thing. And to be completely honest with you guys, I feel like the exact same Remington that started this a year ago, you know, and they always say you should 
appreciate how far you've come and I do I appreciate immensely the amount of work it's taken to get here the amount of nights and days spent grinding and you know sitting in my computer doing meal plans and filming videos and editing I understand that all of that like I appreciate what that's done for me but in some weird way though I'm I'm at a point in my journey where I feel like I should be happier with where I'm at and I'm not even the slightest bit satisfied I am uh I was thinking about it last night, you know, we're about 33,500 subscribers and I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, 33,500, that's something, right, that's something, but it still isn't nothing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something, but in the grand scheme of things and where I want to be, it is nothing. It is absolutely tiny compared to where I want to be. So, you know, I just, I want you guys to know that, you know, this journey so far has been incredible and I've learned a lot and I've grown a lot and life is good life is good but i am not even one percent satisfied with where i'm at i am not gonna get complacent i'm not gonna allow this to be you know i'm not gonna rest on my laurels i am not the uh, future of this channel and the future of remington james fitness and the future of rjf the future of all of this is just now beginning this is the start right here everything else up to this point was the warm-up this is where things start getting serious and the the people that doubted me and the haters and everybody that told me that this wasn't possible and I wasn't able to do this is what has fueled my passion up to this point to continue crushing it, to continue each and every day, no matter how bad I feel, no matter what's going through my head, no matter how bad of a day I'm having, to keep on grinding and to keep on pushing and to keep putting these videos out and to keep reaching people because if I wouldn't have had so many people in the beginning that doubted what I was doing and that doubted what I was gonna be able to accomplish, I might not have worked this hard, but everything in this life happens for a reason. And like I said earlier, if you put enough energy into anything if you put enough positive energy in anything you have no choice but to get a reaction out of it that isn't even just me being airy fairy that is just physics that is just the way the world works and if you've been following me from the beginning you have to see that you have to see that this positivity and that all of this reverberates and comes back to you you just have to be able to see that and uh for those of you that have been with me since the beginning, thank you so much. For those of you that support me, thank you so much. For those of you that are new to the channel, thank you so much. And I just want all of you guys to know that this, right now, this moment, as you watch this, this is only the beginning of my journey. And I promise that from here on out, we are gonna work even harder. We are gonna keep cranking out this content and we are gonna keep growing on a massive scale because I don't feel like I'm at a point right now where I'm satisfied and I don't think I'm going to reach that point until I have a million subscribers. I don't plan on stopping until I'm one of the top people doing this right now. And I truly wholeheartedly with a hundred and ten percent of my soul and my heart believe that to be fact. I totally do. And that's what it takes. If you have a dream and you have a vision, you have to believe in yourself. You have to be able to take what everybody else says is not possible. You have to throw that to the side and you have to believe that you are capable of doing anything you put your mind to. And let me tell you guys, that level of confidence and that level of belief in yourself, in the beginning, they're going to laugh at you. In the beginning, they're going to wonder why you're doing it but you just can sit there and in your head, you have that sly little smile on your face because you know the truth. I know the truth. You're gonna, you're gonna get there. You're gonna get it done. And it might take a few months. It might take six months. It might take a year. Your goal might be to lose weight. Your goal might be to buy a house. Your goal might be to buy a car. Heck, your goal might even be to graduate college, graduate high school. But just know if you believe in yourself and you are willing to put that work in, you can accomplish anything you want in this life and don't ever for a second let anybody tell you that you can't because i promise you guys people are going to try to knock you off your path left and right every step you take people are going to have their foot out trying to trip you the same people shaking your hand or stabbing you in the back when you aren't around and that's unfortunately the way the world is nowadays guys and that's why so many people they have these dreams they have these ambitions they have these goals they have all this stuff they want to accomplish but it gets pushed off the side gets put to the back burner and no one chases what they want anymore because there's so much criticism and so much resistance from everybody no one supports anybody anymore everybody just looks out for themselves and let me tell you the best decision i ever made was taking all these people I thought were friends and condensing it down. I have maybe four or five good friends now. That's all I have. But you know what? Those dudes all have my back. Those dudes all want me to succeed as bad as I want them to succeed. And that's what you need. You need a strong support system. And if you can't find that and the people you're around aren't, aren't any good, 
You need to eliminate those people from your life because you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If those people aren't doing anything and they're just stuck in the mud spinning their tires, then unfortunately, you are right there with them. So, <laughs> I just realized I'm rambling, guys. I'm rambling. Man, that takes a lot of energy out of me. I'm like tired now. <sighs> okay, <laughs> we'll refocus. But guess, guys, all I'm trying to say is that from where I was a year ago to where I'm at right now, my life is completely different. And I'm not satisfied. I'm proud of how far I've came. And I promise each and every one of you that if you have a dream, if you have a vision, it, you just have to believe that you can accomplish it. And I promise you, you can. I promise you, you can. It all starts with a thought. Those thoughts become things. Those thoughts become action. You take action on that, you, you literally materialize your dream and your passion into this world. You will it into being. You just have to take that first step. You just have to take that action. So many plans get all formulated and boggled and no one ever is brave enough to take that first step. Put yourself out there. Screw what everybody else thinks because they don't matter anyways. All that matters is your health and your happiness. In the grand scheme of things, if starting a YouTube channel makes you happy, then do it. If going to a hot yoga class makes you happy, then do it. <laughs> do what makes you happy because that's what matters. And what everybody else thinks is irrelevant. The people that don't want you to succeed are just mad because they didn't have the courage to follow their dreams. So I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Hopefully uh, that little rant there at the end didn't get too, uh, too out there, too crazy. I just, uh, I don't know, I, I, get, I get in these moods sometimes and uh, I just I just gotta let it out so as always thank you guys so much for your support hit that like button if you like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed I don't see why you wouldn't be if you're watching this video but thank you guys once again each and every one of you watching this video for the support it means more to me than you even know and don't forget to chase your dream guys you are never too old never too young to start working on what you want so if you have something that you're passionate about, something that keeps you up at night, something that keeps coming into your brain when you're just out doing nothing, it just kind of pops in there. It's something you're kind of, I don't want to say obsessed with, but something that takes up a lot of your brain space, an idea maybe. You need to execute on that idea. You have to, because you do not want to grow old and look back and wonder, what if? Because you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not. I refuse to be old and look back and wonder what if. I refuse to do that. I wanna be on my deathbed looking back and going, you know what, we gave it 110%. We did everything we set out to do. That, my friends, is how I wanna go and how I wanna be remembered. Okay, okay, I'm rambling. Don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better. This has been a Remington James production. Thank you guys once again. I will see you at the next video. See you guys.